Hey, what's going on everybody? My name is Cody and this isn't the usual Christian news show I do every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. I'll still be doing those of course, but I wanted to try something new and do movie reviews because I have this. I'm covering it up because I don't know what information is important, but it's the movie pass. And what happens with that card is you pay $30 a month and you get this little card in the mail and then once a day you can go to any movie you want that's 2D. If you want to check it out, it's called moviepass.com. I'll leave a link in the description below. It's pretty cool. So at the end of this video, leave a comment in the comment section below. Let me know what you guys think about these. I haven't done reviews before, so I really don't know how it's going to go, but I kind of want to do this. So I'm hoping that it, uh, it turns out pretty well. And so for my first Christian review, we're going to talk about Hansel and Gretel because for some reason, I thought it was a good idea to watch a rated R movie for my very first Christian review. No idea why. And yes, I am going to call him Hansel and Gretel and not Hansel and Gretel because they really emphasize that his name was Hansel throughout the movie. Alright, so Hansel and Gretel is a spinoff of the fairy tale, you know, where Hansel and Gretel, they get lost in the woods, they find a gingerbread house, and they start eating all of it, there's a witch inside, so keeps feeding them candy, who's going to eat the kids, and then they end up burning the witch in the oven. And so then the movie answers the question, what happens to Hansel and Gretel after that happens? And so what the movie tries to answer is what happens to Hansel and Gretel after that event? Well, they grow up and they become bounty hunters of witches, and they end up in the town in the movie where they are trying to protect the town from the witches who are taking children. As I said before, the movie was rated R, but it was one of those movies where they had like five seconds of nudity and you were like, really? You had to put those five seconds in? You, you could have been PG-13 without those five seconds. I mean, there was that and there was some of the gore was like unnecessarily gory where it even made it less realistic than it could have been. And so in saying that, if you are a conservative Christian, you're not going to like this movie whatsoever. It is not a conservative Christian movie by any means. It's not supposed to be. But if you do like things for entertainment value, you might enjoy the film at least a little bit. The director is Tommy Ricola, which I've never seen any of his other movies, but it did have a very Van Helsing-esque type feel to it. I mean, you have these witches and you have the magic and stuff like that, but then you also have like these guns that are going on that are kind of before their time. I don't know, I guess in that way and kind of the costumes, it just reminded me a lot of Van Helsing. Hansel was played by Jeremy Renner, who was in The Avengers as Hawkeye, which I love that movie. And then Jenna Arterton, who is in Prince of Persia, um, was in it as Gretel. So both really great actors, but I think within the movie they weren't given enough lines to really flesh out who their characters were. And so the acting kind of seemed... It wasn't bad, but it wasn't amazing because of that fact. So all that being said, I think the effects were really great. Like I said... There was some points where it was kind of like it was overly gory and it wasn't a gory movie in general but there was just like the parts that were gory were just kind of cheesy because it was so gory. Like there's a part where like every limb of this one guy is torn off and it's like perfectly torn and you're like all right well that was obviously CGI and it was unnecessary to do it because they could have just done it a lot better by doing something less gory to him. So I didn't hate the movie in fact I really liked it but once I started picking it apart it could have been a lot better. And so, Christian value, I'm going to give it just a 2 out of a 5, and I give it a 2 at all because, I mean, all that acting, and uh, it is visually pleasing, and all that stuff gives glory to God. But I can't give it any more than a 2 because, I mean, it wasn't a redemptive story by any means, and none of it was really given to God. In fact, there's part where a guy is praying in the woods for his life, and then the witch is like, not even your God would dare come here, and I was like, you should just explode right now because it would have been hilarious if she would have been like even your god won't come here and then she exploded but she didn't it was just kind of oh uh, you're making fun of christianity so if you're looking for a good old christian movie this uh this definitely is not it whatsoever but that being said there is also the entertainment value and the entertainment value for me is kind of like the all around um what i think of the movie and uh, I would say it was probably a good 4 out of 5. I mean, it was a good movie. I mean, it had to be on the lower side of that 4, I guess, because I, I don't know. I don't want to do like 4.5 or something, anything. But, uh, I mean, it was, I liked it. It was a good movie. It could have been better. Um, but I think they did all right on it. So, yeah, that was the movie review, and I'll try to find a clever name for it later, maybe. But please leave a comment in the comment section. Let me know what you guys think, if I should keep doing this, if I shouldn't, some tips on what things you guys would like to know more about when I review. I have no idea what I'm doing. I just looked online, saw how people do reviews, like how-tos, and then uh, did this. And I know some crit critics don't like that. They say you're unqualified. But, hey, whatever. Do you guys like it or not? Let me know. All of that being said, in closing, let the haters hate, let the Christians pray. To everybody, like, subscribe. I'll see you later, and God bless.